All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So we just wrapped up the 2019 Tampa Pro, um, and it was quite an interesting show. Now, the main focus of this show was it was really a battle between Dexter Jackson um, and Luke Sando here, which to me is a very, very good comparison and a very favorable comparison. This is what Luke wanted from this show. Um, knowing that Dexter was going to be in it, I don't think anybody really – um, truly had Luke beating Dexter at this show because Dexter Jackson is a former Mr. Olympia winner. Um, he's been a runner-up at the Olympia. He's been top six at the Olympia countless times. Um, Dexter Jackson is probably going to be one of the biggest names going into the 2019 Mr. Olympia um, because of the fact that he is the only former Mr. Olympia winner going into the 2019 Mr. Olympia. So this is exactly what Luke wanted to happen. I mean, Luke didn't need to win this show. I mean, the main thing that Luke needed here um, was to be in that one and two call out with Dexter Jackson. And that is exactly what Luke got. So to be next to Dexter on stage is going to give him a lot of momentum going into the Olympia. The fact that they were comparing him and Dexter very, very closely, actually, for one and two at this Tampa Pro, um, I think is going to be a huge feather in Luke's cap going into the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Just the fact that he was being compared to a guy like Dexter, um, I think is going to put Luke in a solid position for the top six at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Now, based on some of the photos and videos that I saw, you know, in the pre-judging videos, you know, some of the angles, Luke, to me, actually looked to be a little bit sharper than Dexter did from a conditioning standpoint. Um, but then Dexter looked to have tightened up at the night show. So I think that's really what, you know, pulled it out for Dexter at the last minute. Um, and I think overall, you know, even though Luke is a much bigger bodybuilder, he's got a much bigger structure, a much broader physique, and he's got a much more commanding um, presence on stage. I think Dexter Jackson has just those crazy proportions and that crazy roundness and 3D look to his muscle um, that Luke just doesn't have. And even though Luke is much bigger, and you can make an argument that from a conditioning standpoint and some of the shots, he looks sharper than Dexter, um, you know, those, those proportions and that shape that Dexter has is always going to beat a guy like Luke, um, even if Luke is slightly more on. But at the end of the day, it didn't really matter for either Dexter or Luke because both of them are pretty much solidified at the Olympia. They're both going to the Olympia. They were both already going to the Olympia, um, regardless of their placing at this Tampa Pro. Um, Dexter, obviously, being a former Mr. Olympia, is qualified for life to compete at the Olympia. And Luke was already qualified on point. So neither of them really needed this victory. Um, this victory was more or less a warm-up show for Dexter or would have been a warm-up show for Luke had he won. Um, and really just been about the momentum going into the Olympia, um, depending on who won. Now, in third place here, you had Ian Vier. In fourth place, you had Lucas Osladil. In fifth place, you had Hassan Mustafa. And in sixth, you had Sadiq Milan. So it was a very interesting Tampa Pro, and I think it was actually very close between Dexter and Luke, which again, I don't think Luke has anything to be disappointed about in taking second place here. Taking second to a guy like Dexter, I think is actually a good thing for a guy like Luke, a guy that needs to get his name out there, a guy that hasn't had the highest of placings outside of this year's Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. I think for a guy like Luke, being compared to a guy like Dexter is only going to be a positive thing for Luke, um, regardless of whether or not Luke came out on top. I think the fact that they had them as one and two um, is always going to be a good thing for Luke. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Dexter deserved this victory? Do you think Luke deserved this victory? Um, and who do you have placing higher at the Olympia, Dexter or Luke? Keep in mind, um, Dexter took seventh at last year's Olympia. So to me, honestly... You know, some people were talking about Dexter possibly being a front runner for the top three at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. And I honestly don't have Dexter in the top three at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. I think there's a greater chance um, of Luke placing above Dexter at the Olympia, but that's just my two cents. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already for Olympia updates and bodybuilding coverage. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.